Well, guys, Black Belt Collector, I finally did it. I told you I was going to find Wrecker and just pick him up at full price and quit being cheap and waiting for a sale so I don't miss out on him. And, yeah, I actually went into panic mode just a little bit because he seemed to be disappearing from the shelves. I couldn't find him anymore. I mean, he was everywhere for a while and then started to disappear, so I got the tech that I've actually had for a little while now, because I found him on clearance, so he was actually the first one that I bought, and then I was like, oh man, I bet all these are going to go to clearance, so I waited, waited, yeah, I didn't, didn't have that kind of luck, so I just ended up grabbing Wrecker at regular price, but I did open him up inside the store on the toy aisle before I even bought him. Cracked it open just to make sure that was actually what's in the package. I don't know. Am I crazy? Do you guys do that? I mean, I feel, I definitely feel sketchy when I'm doing it, but I have yet to be scammed on a figure on a swap. But I have been scammed on sealed Pokemon before. I bought a box, opened it up, and it was swapped with like trash. And I was able to get refunded, but man, that was so frustrating. And that is just something no one should ever have to deal with. All right. Got all these little pieces here. So... I did the first half of the Bad Batch. Man, they really protect the helmet. It was wrapped up nice and tight in there. So I did Hunter and Echo and really, really loved the figures. I mean, I loved them. They were so well made, so detailed. And yeah, the price is a little high, right? But they at least are giving you a lot of value for your money. So this shouldn't be any different. Yeah, I basically just opened it up like this, went like that, and said, okay, it's actually him in there. So I was happy to just pick, pick him up. Man, the windowless packaging sucks. It absolutely sucks. And they make it so hard to get in these things. It's like opening up a McFarlane figure. Can you imagine if I open this up right now? And it is a swap, like I was mistaken. But no, I actually pulled back and made sure the figure was actually in here. So, yeah, very happy. All right, let's see what all the record comes with here. Should be his helmet. And it's just a knife. Man, I'm so glad they're doing away with the stupid windowless packaging. He's definitely the biggest. I won't throw any of this stuff away. I'll wait because I'm afraid I'm going to accidentally throw something away because it's hard to tell. Right off the bat. Yeah, man, these guys look really, really good. They look so clean. I love the design of the season two. These guys really pop. They really stand out on the shelf. It's got single jointed arms and legs, which is pretty common for black series. And I've said before that I'm fine with that. I'm fine with the single joints. It doesn't have to be double. My main concern is if it's pinless or not. I just hate those ugly pins that are in some of the figures, especially like Marvel Legends. Man, look at all the accessories these guys come with. Look at all the detail on these guys. It's just, it's really, really good. They are expensive. I think their retail is like $28. 
27 or 28. Oh, let's get his head out. Or his helmet, I mean. So, not happy about how expensive Black Series figures have become. But at least you can feel like they're actually giving you your money's worth here. So these... I have decided to not display with the helmets on just because they all have such a unique head sculpt. And for the most part, you're seeing them without their helmets in the show. But, oh man, it's tough because the helmets all look really good too. Here, I'm going to go ahead and grab Hunter, which I already did a pretty detailed review on Hunter. And Echo. And they also have unique helmets. I love the way the helmet works for this figure right there. But, you know, what can I do? I'm going to go ahead and just display them without the helmets. Because they all look so good, the head sculpts. I mean, they literally all have different skin tones. They all have unique features, even though, you know, they're clones they're so unique that's what makes these guys kind of special right so that being said yeah i'm going to display them probably without their helmets so we got wrecker here with this gigantic knife it looks like it slides right there let's see if it goes that way or this way it's hard to tell right goes this way we're gonna assume it goes like that i love it i've said before i love when the figures come with a way to actually carry their accessories so it looks like yeah it's even got a nice strap that comes off so you can strap the gun here i'm assuming it doesn't actually look like the gun would fit so what are you supposed to put here then it's got to be the gun, right? Yeah, I guess it does fit if you do it like that. Yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. That looks really cool. So he doesn't even have to be carrying his weapons. I'm actually going to just take the gun off, though. And it's uh, got a little slot right here. But I'm going to have him carry the gun. He does have a trigger finger. Love it when they do that and they actually give you a way to display with the weapon and without. Really cool. He does have quite a bit of shine, this one. I don't feel like the rest of them are quite so shiny. He's got his pack here. So it should go like this. Nice. Man, you really do get bang for your buck with these guys. The detail, the articulation, the paint, the accessories. What is going on with all of these little pieces? I'm going to assume that they all just kind of slot on here. And I dropped one. This is probably something that I'll play with off camera a bit. Nobody wants to sit here and watch me struggle with it. His backpack looks really nice as well. Pouch. That looks really good. He's got, oh, little loops to hold his accessories here. Very cool. I like when he comes with, of course, ways to display his stuff. With the gun. Is there a holster for the gun? There is not. The pouch does not open. But that's okay. We'll just have him holding the gun. He does have a trigger finger as well. It 
an example of someone who comes with a gun with no trigger finger. And I realized maybe this was intentional because it's a sort of like a constructed weapon, but like Quentin Quire. He's got a gun, which is really cool, like part of his abilities here, but he doesn't have a trigger finger, which is a little weird. You know, maybe it's intentional. I don't think so. I think they just were being lazy. But let me grab the packaging for tech. And so it looks like these pieces for his backpack. Okay, so there's a picture of sort of the completed backpack. So you got a long one and a skinny one, and they just slide right in there. Let's just see if I can do this. I mean, I guess they just sit in there. That doesn't feel right. And then here's the smaller one. I guess that's it. I don't know if that's right. I usually will play around with that sort of stuff off camera on my own and just Get them in some cool sort of poses. His glasses do not come off, but you can actually see his eyes underneath the lenses. I know my lighting is horrible. I know that. I'm working on it still. But you can see his eyes in there when you have them in hand. Really cool. Really happy to have all these guys finally put together and not be cheap and, uh, you know, risk missing out. So he's got these little pieces here that can just slide into his belt, I guess. Yeah, pretty cool. So when they're all next to each other, the color schemes are just so funny. They really stand out on the shelf. So you got their helmets. Yeah, they look awesome. They look really awesome. You can tell he's the only one that has kind of that weird shine to his head. Well, I'm going to sit here and play with my toys for a while. Hopefully, you guys are able to pick these up before they all disappear. And even maybe find some on sale. So, hey, thanks for watching. See you guys.